Hello everyone, this is Raza Aziz coming to you from Toronto, Canada, here on a special request of Colleen to make this two-part series on one, how to start your Hangout, um, how to start your Google Hangout, and also how to obtain your Google Hangout um, embed code and a link that you can spread out into your communities and people can watch you on YouTube or on a website or wherever it is that you wanted to broadcast. And at the end of the, this video, I will share something very insightful for you for to set the stage for video number two. So let's get started. So here I am on a Google uh, page on google.ca. Since I'm in Canada, you can go to google.com. I'm logged in. Uh, to um, to my Gmail account and that's so you will see your name or your picture over here whatever you have uploaded and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to Google Plus okay you can also just go to plus.google.com and you can just log in there as well so once I go to my Google Plus I see all of my you know my contacts and 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 the information that I have on on my wall if you want to call it now there are a couple of places I could go you see right here it says hangout on the right hand side what I want to do is I'm, I'm just gonna use the home uh, button right here uh, in the left hand side and I'm going to go to hangouts right here so click on hangout so it will take me to um, a screen where I can start my hangout on air okay so here I am and uh, this right here if you go right here at the bottom on the left hand side you will see start a hangout on air let me just scroll down a little bit so there it is okay I click on start a hangout on air and here it tells me to give it a name so every hangout that you start, you can give it a name, whatever the theme is for your hangout. It could be a business information meeting. It could be a training session. It could be anything. So here I'm just going to put in test hangout. Okay. And of course, you can t uh, talk a little bit about the Hangout so that if you're inviting public, um, a general public to it, you they can read more about what your Hangout is all about and they can choose to participate. Okay, so I'll just put in Test Hangout for now. Now, you can start it at a later date or you can start it now. I'm just going to start it now. Here, the audience is all about your circles. So in, in Google Hangout, we have we create you can create multiple communities um, and you can name them anything. You can have family, you can have friends, you could have business colleagues, you could have the training um, community, you could have coaches, whatever communities that you want, and you add people to those circles. So instead of inviting everybody individually, you can just click on one um, one uh, circle and everybody gets invited. Alternatively, you can also take those out and just put in an individual email address. So let's just say here's, um, you know, here's my email address. So I'm just going to put in one, and there, there it is. Now you want to, you always want to uh, invite at least one person. Okay, so if you try to start the hangout without doing this, you're not going to be able to start it. Okay, so. Once I've put my circles or my email addresses, the people that I want to invite, I can click on share. And this is what happens when you click on share. So here it is, it's loading. And voila, I am ready to start my broadcast. Okay, so if I can click, if I click on start, it will start my broadcast. Now here's what I want to bring your attention to. This is the screen where you are going to come to to get your embed codes, your link to this hangout, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here you see right here on the on the midsection of the right hand side here, there's a place called links. And when I click on these links, I have three kinds of links here. One is the event page, one is a YouTube link, and one is a video embed link. Now what could this be used for? Well, you could invite people to your event page. You can send this out on Facebook, on social media, and you can you can check it out. Uh, sorry, you can send it out to everybody, and everybody can attend. And it, they will come to a page like this, and they will be able to see your broadcast right here. 
The YouTube page, this allows you to go directly to YouTube or whoever you send it to and they can watch your hangout on YouTube. So it's actually doing a live feed on your um, on YouTube, on your YouTube channel and, uh, and, and people can see it. What it also does, it, it records it automatically. So that's beautiful thing about about uh, that's a beautiful thing about Google Hangout. It records it automatically. Now let's say that you have a website, okay, and you want people to go to your website. You can take this code and code it into the back end of that page, and your Hangout would be a live feed on that web page. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you set up a Hangout, and this is how you get the links. Now, in my video number two, what I'm going to talk to you about, especially for my friends in your virtual portal, we're going to show you how you can broadcast your Hangout, your training, or your meeting, whatever it is that you're doing, live on your portals. So you can invite people to your portals and they can watch your broadcast right there. With call to action buttons right at the bottom, you can now have your own training center, site, whatever you want to call it. It's such a powerful tool. Looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. This is Raza Aziz saying goodbye and it is the end of this video.